What's up everybody, it's Critical. I'm playing Phoenix Wright. This is the second case. Let's do this shit. A brief overview of what's unfolding here and why we're in the court. Miss Maya Fay was beaten to death by a statue and her sister was unrightfully charged with the crime. So now it is my responsibility to absolve her of the charges and save the day. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of the- I can't fucking read this quickly. I am my own worst enemy. I'm the one that's making the damn dialogue go so quickly. Fuck. And I just- I just want to hit the continue button fast. Why are you here, dick gumshoe? This is their witness? You're just calling anyone to the courtroom these days. Why not give a ring to the fucking local hamburger vendor? Have him come testify. Dick gumshoe. Completely useless. Bitch probably doesn't even know titties from a seahorse. What is this you're showing the court today, Mr. Gumshoe? Is this like a building schematic that you designed while you were in first grade? I don't understand the relevance. Floor plans? I need floor plans now. Mr. Gumshoe, I am attempting to free an innocent woman from conviction. I'm not trying to hang some ice sculpture in an apartment complex. Your floor plans are irrelevant. Let's hear about this hard evidence you claim to have. There were two people that are ready, the defendant Ms. Maya Fay and the lawyer Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Ms. Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness count describing her. The witness saw Ms. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Is that it? I was expecting some actual evidence, Mr. Gumshoe. Alright, well this should be easy enough to cross exam You couldn't find a single contradiction in the testimony. What were you doing? Peeling a scab? How the fuck could you not get a contradiction out of that? What's this? Well, my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony. She would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Wow, my reading abilities are skyrocketing. Fuck, I'm reading so fucking quickly. Here we go, press him. I don't believe that shit for a second, Mr. Gumshoe. Who did you say you got the call from? Yeah, who the fuck did you say you got the shitting call from, Mr. Gumshoe? No, I don't know who it was. The call is from a customer at a hotel right across from the crime scene. A likely story. I think you're full of bitch, Mr. Gumshoe. Objection, your honor. The witness is making outlandish claims. No human being can shit out another human being's shit. It's just not plausible. It's all- and quite simply, it's impossible. Just admit it, you foul creature. It was your shit that abandoned your asshole. No one else's. I rest my case. Press him. Justice is just being served up in this bitch. Alright, yo, how long did it take him to get there? Three minutes. Fucking three minutes. You can teleport now, can you, Mr. Gumshoe? You are just fu- Hey, you stay out of this, Professor Utonium. This is between me and Dick Shoes. Uh, I guess I didn't make any breaks in the case. Fuck. Alright. Let's press him on a more troubling matter. This one. Your uh, witness account. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Don't you dare stall for time, you blabbly bitch. Answer the question. I heard you say it. Now, oh, you see that? Everyone agrees you said it. What exactly about this woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Oh, I see. It wasn't hard evidence. She just gave you a hard wiener. That is not circumstantial evidence. In the slightest, I've won this case. The underdog story. They'll be making films of this victory in the courtroom. Oh, what? I, did I win yet? Oh, you got the order. Things mixed up in your testimony. Here, walk it by me again. Let's hear the revised testimony, enhanced bullshit edition. Just the kind of reading material I need when I'm on the shitter. After securing the- I found written on a piece of paper and on it was the word Maya was- Fuck, I just cannot read this fast. My finger is going faster than I can comprehend these words, and I know it, I'm well aware of it, but I don't want to slow down either, because the second you slow down, well there goes the- the- the ass. The ass just goes right then and there. And I don't want to lose ass. If you're losing ass, you might as well just be losing the game. And I don't plan on losing this case. I will free the wrongly convicted sister. Here we go, hard evidence. I don't know what evidence I have now. Because I have basically been playing Wheel of Fortune with the text. Alright, I, I don't even give a shit about this evidence anymore. I have a hunch. Your Honor, I have reason to believe that Detective Dick Gumshoe is not actually a human being, 
but is without a doubt a giant anus in disguise. Therefore, his testimony is moot, and I implore you to remove this filth from the courtroom immediately. I guess my objection fell on deaf ears. The judge just doesn't seem to care about an incognito anus in the courtroom. What the fuck? You think you can object like that? You think you can do that shit? This is my courtroom. Oh, you slam your desk. You slam your desk. I will slam my desk and start a seismic trimmer. And then I will create a new desk out of the finest oak this planet can offer. And I'll put it right where the old desk was. Slam your desk in my courtroom. It's time to get serious about this case now. Alright, dick gumshoe. Enough of your bullshit. Here we go. Let's see what evidence I have here. Glass shards. This could be useful. Here we go. Glass shards. Explain it. Eat these glass shards right now, dick gumshoe. Fuck, this evidence isn't going to hold up. Yeah, alright. Glass shards. Not really doing much there. Probably a pretty shitty route to take. I'm just going to start challenging every fucking thing there is. Do you have any proof it was M Mia that wrote that? Oh, you do? Show me the proof. Where's your evidence? I guess you don't need any evidence anymore. That is kind of old school, I suppose. Let's challenge this shit. Just because you found it next to the body doesn't mean the victim wrote it. Then who did it right? Who did write it? Who? I'll tell you who. I did. That'd be a doozy. But I think it was the killer. Anyone can see that. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? No, the killer didn't write her own name. She wrote the name of uh, Mia's sister. Oh, you stay out of this shit. I'm on to something here. I'm finally on the cusp of solving this case. No, I'm sorry. I don't have any bullshit. Go fish. Alright, come on. I'm ab I am about to solve this. Just stay out of this. Awesome. Back to square one as a result of Sephiroth's unconventional questioning. Here, this is the golden question right now to ask Gumshoe. Alright, here, let, what about this? It could have been me. No, I don't think it- no, see, it wasn't me, I'm just saying it could have been me. Can you prove it wasn't? That is a good question to be asking. Also, how can you rule out the possibility that maybe just a, an elephant fell over outside the office, causing the ground to rumble? And the statue just fell off the shelf and bopped her on the head. How do you know this was a designed murder? Could have just been pure accident. I'm going to present them with some irrefutable evidence. A wire tap. That really seems like it'll do nothing for this entire scenario. Yup. My calculations were correct. Might as well have just exposed myself to the entire court. Would have accomplished about the same thing as showing them a wire tap. What else can we show them here? What do we have? The thinker, that's the statue that, that killed her. The autopsy report. Don't think that's gonna be of much use right now. The cell phone, that's it right there. The key, guess this cell phone number right now, gumshoe. You have three seconds to guess all the digits. Fuck, that approach didn't work. All right, well, what else can we offer as evidence here? Um. Really, that story is fucking bulletproof. Gumshoe has done a good job forging, like, a, a cohesive story. And this fucking pressing is not working. I, there's got to be evidence. I have to present the court with evidence. Because pressing, I've pressed every single option, I think. So, not really... Fuck, just fuck. I, I don't really know what evidence to present them with, though. I, I've, I've pretty much taken every logical approach here. A receipt here. How about this? Explain that. Explain. Where does the name Maya come from? What is Maya short for? Answer these questions, gumshoe. Fuck. That didn't work either. I have one chance left to solve the case. Let's... Wow. The autopsy report was the thing I needed to present him with. It said she died instantly, but he claims... She died, or she had time to write that Maya before she died. All I had to do was read the autopsy report and I could have solved this fucking a long time ago. You have it backwards, detective. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to blunt impact. There we go. We've won the case. We've won it. Father Time... Give us the victory. What happened here? 
I don't know when the fucking autopsy report was given to us. How the fuck am I supposed to know that shit? Outdated? Second autopsy was performed. Death was almost... Oh, this shit's a forgery! Look, that's not even real paper. That's like fucking Crayola Crayon construction paper. That's not official documents. Your Honor, put on a pair of glasses if you think that's official. Oh, this is... This is... This is... This is... This is... You're a sham, Edgeworth. A bitch. A complete bitch. An absolute bitch. You wanna bring in some voodoo magic to the courtroom? Fine. Fight fire with fire. I'm gonna create a forgery that says you're not able to make forgeries anymore. The evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Well, the judge might not be smart. You might be a bitch. I might have pissed my pants, but I will still win this case. Alright. Fuck this case. I'm gonna go have sex with that girl. Alright. Meeting adjourned. I have more important matters to attend to. Alright, well, if I must stay in the courtroom, I'm gonna finish this fast. You... Alright, the hotel is directly across. Alright, here we go. Witness testimony. Let's see it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, so one with long hair being attacked. The one attacking was the girl. And then the woman dodged and ran away. But the girl caught up to her. And then she slumped. That's it. Well, inexplicably, I think Gumshoe's fucking awful floor planning drawing might actually be of some benefit here. What is that? Do I not get to cross-examine the witness here? Because I actually think I know the f clue right away. Oh, ch f f you're a piece of shit. Here, I'm doing the cross-examination. There we go. You see, because she said she saw Maya chase after her sister and kill her, but if she was at the hotel across from it, she would only be able to see as far as the window permits. So unless the entire office is made out of glass, there'd be no way she would see the girl chasing after her sister and kill her. Like, maybe she'd see a little bit of running, but definitely not all the running. Here we go, I definitely got the first clue. What? Objection Your Honor, use your noggin! What the fuck? Your Honor, think about this. Think about this. You are fucking out of your mind. You piece of shit. You just condemned an innocent woman. I presented you with the proper evidence. Unless she's using some type of gyroscopic spying helicopter, she's not gonna be able to see the girl chasing her around the office. It's one fucking window, you bitch. Wow, well, I thought I was gonna win that case. Well, that's the end of this video. Remember to rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this one. See ya.